Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. In this one, I'll discuss how you can unlock the brand new nail gun DLC weapon the fastest here in Call of Duty Warzone. So of course guys, if you weren't already aware, with the release of Season 4, there were some brand new DLC weapons that were added into the game and one of them is of course the nail gun. Interestingly enough, you can unlock this particular DLC weapon in both Black Ops Cold War multiplayer as well as Warzone. And in today's video, I'm going to be specifically talking about how you can unlock it in Warzone. So with that said, if you go on to enjoy this one, make sure you leave a like on it down below will subscribe and turn on post notifications that way you guys will not miss any of the latest and greatest call of duty news class clips and all kinds of things like that so without further ado now that i got the intro out of the way let's dive right into it and all right so to kick off today's video let's talk about how you can unlock this dlc weapon now interestingly enough there are two primary ways that you can unlock it the first way is by completing a rather simple challenge which states get five eliminations with special weapons in 15 different completed matches now alternatively you can purchase the framework bundle for 1000 cod points and in in that particular bundle, you can get immediate access to the legendary Puncture Wound Blueprint for the Nail Gun. However, let it be known that if you are going to be playing Black Ops Cold War, you have to unlock the base variation of the weapon if you would like to unlock camos on it, so just make sure to keep that in mind. And if I'm not mistaken, if you would like to unlock attachments on this particular weapon, you have to unlock the base variation. So with that said, now let's break down the challenge a little bit. So firstly, you might be wondering what is a special weapon? And you see, special weapons are exclusive to Black Ops Cold War. There is no technical special weapon in Modern Warfare, and that's how come there is no dedicated special weapons tab in Warzone. However, there is one in Black Ops Cold War, so that's why we know which weapons are considered special weapons. And of course, they are the M79, which is under the Launcher category, the R1 Shadow Hunter, which is under the Marksman Rifle category, and the Ballistic Knife, which is under the Melee category. And to know, the M79 is the only base special weapon, as the other two are DLC weapons. And without a doubt, both the Ballistic Knife and Shadow Hunter are better weapons for completing this challenge and that's how come I'd recommend using them if you have them unlocked or at least consider unlocking them for completing this challenge and I do quickly want to mention that if you guys would like to check out a video that I made not too long ago on how you can unlock the ballistic knife in Call of Duty Warzone there will be a card on your screen right now so that way you can check it out. Now with that said the M79 isn't necessarily bad however it can be a little bit tricky and you do need some practice and with that said now let's talk a little bit about strategy so first and foremost you are going to be wanting to play plunder and that's just because as the challenge states you need to get five kills in a single game and since you are going to be using an underpowered weapon like the m79 or the shadow hunter or the ballistic knife it means that you are going to be wanting to play plunder of course that means you can typically get a lot more kills than if let's say you were to play standard battle royale as well as you can respawn which is extremely useful and i will get to that a little bit later in this video additionally you can also pick up ammo caches which will prove extremely useful because you only get two shots per life with the m79 one of them being actually in the weapon and one in the reserve and furthermore before we talk more about strategy for the M79, let's actually break down how this weapon works. So if you guys never used the M79 before, all you need to know is that this weapon is a projectile grenade launcher with a rather slow traveling speed. And in addition to that, you can't actually fire this weapon at close range because if you fire the weapon at too close of a range, the shell will actually fizzle out and not detonate. And in one circumstance, I actually got into a point blank range engagement with an enemy. I fired off the M79, the shell hit the opponent and did a little bit of damage. However, bounced off him, fizzled out and didn't detonate. So with that said, you are going to be having to put a little bit of range between you and the opponent so that way you can fire off the weapon and of course it will detonate. And one strategy that I used that was actually pretty effective is to hover in the air and try to find the target. And then essentially what you are going to be doing is dive bombing them and then firing the M79 when you're in the air, knocking them down and then killing them, which is pretty effective. And in the gameplay that you are going to be watching, I did it a couple times and I was able to get some pretty nice kills as well as confuse quite a few enemies as to what exactly I was doing. And additionally, try to specifically specifically hunt for enemies that are around either vehicles or ammo caches and that's just because the m79 is a pretty consistent two hit kill of course you can't get one hit kill if the shell lands pretty close to the enemy and of course they're not using flak jacket however sometimes you might have to shoot off three or four shots to take down that opponent however if they are standing near a vehicle or an ammo cache your m79 is not only going to be doing damage towards that enemy it's also going to be exploding either the vehicle or ammo cache doing extra damage and taking down that opponent and that's pretty useful and will almost to guarantee you a one hit kill every single time. So just to run it down from the top, make sure you are going to be playing plunder as well specifically look for ammo caches so that way you can refill your ammunition. And although the M79 
isn't optimal, what you can do is run the M79 as your secondary weapon. However, also run either a ballistic knife or the shadow hunter as your primary weapon. So that means every single kill that you get, no matter what, is going to be counting towards this challenge. And once again, you only need five kills in 15 different matches, which isn't necessarily too hard. However, it can be a little bit tedious. And with that said, that's going to effectively wrap up this video. I hope you went on to enjoy it. And if you did, don't forget to leave your like on down below as well subscribe and turn on post notifications that way you guys will not miss any of the latest and greatest call of the news class clips and all kinds of things like that so once again thanks for watching this video i hope to see you in the next one